Sixteen. <clears throat> Welcome to the Township of Lacey, February 26, 2015 meeting. Adequate notice of this meeting has been given in accordance with the Open Public Meeting Act pursuant to Public Laws 1975. Said notice was advertised in the Asbury Park Press and the Lacey Beacon and was posted on the bulletin board showing the time and the place of the meeting. We're going to begin with a salute to the flag and a moment of silence. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America, America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Matter number one, second reading of Ordinance 2015-02, amending and supplementing Chapter A416 Cable Television Franchise. In ordinance of the Township of Lacey County <coughs> versus David and Jersey, amending and supplementing Chapter A416 of the Township Code of the Township of Lacey entitled Cable Television Franchise, whereas granting renewal of municipal consent to Comcast of New Jersey to construct, connect, operate, and maintain a cable television and communication systems in the Township of Lacey. This is a 10-year um, um, contract initially. Uh, this new contract that we're entering into with the cable television is a 15-year contract with an automatic 10-year um, um, renewal certificate of approval. This still needs to go to the BPU for their final review and consent and the municipality receives 2% of the gross revenues from all recurring charges in nature for subscription PVs paid for cable television, not for any of the other services because that's not allowed by law just for the cable television. And also in addition to that, um, Comcast um, will also be giving the township $100,000 um, to utilize for various upgrades and items that they need. Being a second reading, I'll open to the public. Regina? <coughs> Just your name and address. Regina, this is Sunset Drive, Sunrise Beach. Um, there's no chance of getting anybody else to get the phone case, huh? No chance. There's nobody knocking at our door at all. Uh, Verizon is not expanding to this area. It's <coughs> it took me three technicians to get closed captioning on at my parents' house. You have no idea how many technicians it took to, for me to solve a problem back at Public Works here. Oh, so and how many familiar. work orders that I got that I had to re-sign, re-sign after six mm -hmm. emails, they finally got it right. So you're familiar with yes. the excellent service from Comcast? Yes. <coughs> well, to all those seniors out there still subscribing to Comcast, they do offer like a 1% a month senior discount if you get a form from them. Do call the 800 number and ask for their senior discount for what it's worth because their service is worth what it's worth. Thank but you. But is, Regina, is that on only the basic cable? They won't, because yes. that's what we're arguing. No, no, no. Um, my parents were able to put in some kind of senior form and they give them a very small. They but just well. on the basic service though, they only get that discount on the basic service. Well, they didn't explain it to me. Yeah, that's yeah. what it is, just the basic. send in this form and it gets you off about a dollar a month. Yeah, because that was our argument. A dollar <laughs> is a dollar. Yeah, but if you're going to you're gonna give the seniors a discount. <laughs> Yeah, if you're going to give them a discount, our argument was it should be on the entire bill. You're selling them more services. You know what? I'll call them again tomorrow and ask. Yeah, yeah. Because that wasn't, you we'll know, make a big clear, difference. but I just mm -hmm. downgraded their service another $22, so. Wow. Yeah, because to pay 75 for cable, that's a lot of money. Yeah, because to pay $75 a month for two people that watch about six channels, it's getting a little ridiculous. Yeah. And they won't switch to direct TV, and, you know, I may have to do that soon if the bill goes back up again. All right, I just was wondering if there was any alternatives to Comcast. Yeah. The only player in town, unfortunately. Okay. Thank you. Anyone else? Seeing none, motion to close the floor. Second. Yeah, second. All in favor? Aye. 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 I have a motion on the ordinance. Move it. Second. Mr. Kennis? Yes. Mr. Curatolo? Yes. Mr. Dykoff? Yes. Mr. Giuliano? Yes. Mayor Quinn? Yes. Item number two, resolution 2015-77 authorizing the execution of the grant documents for the NJ Economic Development Authority Neighborhood and Community Revitalization Program. Resolution Township Lacey County of Ocean State, New Jersey, authorizing the execution and filing of an application to the New Jersey Economic Development Authority for the Stronger New Jersey Neighborhood and Community Revitalization Program. This is under um, the Community Development Block Grant uh, Disaster Relief Funding that was offered by the federal <coughs> government um, sent down to the state via the um, Economic Development Authority. This is for the Forked River Beach Bayfront Park, whereas the Township of Lacey will be receiving $1,411,101 um, of a grant to revitalize the Bayfront Park down in Forked River Beach. Uh, at this point right now, it is in the hands of the DEP with them reviewing the um, necessary um, conceptual plans with regards to the permitting that will be necessary for the st uh, shoreline stabilization. But at this point, we are definitely going to be receiving this grant funding. 
Can I have a motion? Move it. Second. 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 Mr. Kennis? Yes. Mr. Giuliano? Yes. Mr. Curtolo? Yes. Mr. Dykoff? Yes. Mayor Quinn? Yes. And number three, uh, before I, uh, we should really thank Veronica and uh, Casey because they put a lot of work into that grant with the engineers. So no, we, thank you. We truly appreciate it. Uh, item number three, resolution 2015-78, authorizing an amendment with Johnson Barron for the 2014 CDBG project. Resolution of the Township of Lacey County of Ocean State of New Jersey authorizing execution of an amendment to the contract with Johnson Barron Corporation for the 2014 Community Development Block Grant Project. This is a change order. This was the um, streets between Vaughn and Holmes Avenue. Um, the change order is consisting of $7,012.99 of additional work that, that needed to be done um, as they went in there and um, went through the streets and finished the project. This will close out the project now. Can I have a motion? Move it. Second. Mr. Kennis? Yes. Mr. Curatolo? Yes. Mr. Dykoff? Yes. Mr. Giuliano? Yes. Mayor Quinn? Yes. Item number four, resolution 2015-79, authorizing the release of a performance bond for the acrylic surface seven lining of various facilities project. Resolution of the Township of Lacey County of Ocean State of New Jersey authorizing the release of a performance bond posted for the re repair, rehabilitation, and acrylic surfacing and lining of various tennis and basketball facilities in the Township of Lacey. This is a project that we did last year. It has now since been completed. We are releasing the performance bond and going to a maintenance bond. Can I have a motion? Move it. Second. Mr. Kennis? Yes. Mr. Dykoff? Yes. Mr. Curatolo? Yes. Mr. Giuliano? Yes. Mayor Quinn? Yes. Item number five, resolution 2015-80 authorizing the release of a performance bond for the 2014 CDBG project. Resolution of the Township of Lacey County of Ocean State of New Jersey authorizing the release of a performance bond for, posted by Johnson Barron for the 2014 Community Development Block Grant Project for the Vaughn and Holmes Avenue Side Street Paving Project. This again is releasing the performance bond and we're going to maintenance bond. Can I have a motion? Move it. Second. Mr. Kennis? Yes. Mr. Curtolo? Yes. Mr. Dykoff? Yes. Mr. Giuliano? Yes. <coughs> Mayor Quinn? Yes. And number six, resolution 2014-81, authorizing the release for performance bond for the Conifer Drive Phase Three project. Resolution Township Lacey County of Ocean State, New Jersey, authorizing <coughs> lease of a site improvement performance guarantee posted by Roxy Industries for the Conifer Drive Phase Three road and drainage improvement project. This is um, project is finally complete. It was completed by subcontractors via the bonding company because Roxy Industries had um, gone bankruptcy during the project, but it has now been complete and recommended to release the bonds. Can I have a motion? Move it. Second. Mr. Kennis? Yes. Mr. Dykoff? Yes. Mr. Curatolo? Yes. Mr. Giuliano? Yes. Mayor Quinn? Yes. Item number seven, resolution 2015-82, authorizing the release of performance and maintenance bond for the 2012 CDBG project. Resolution attached to Lacey County of Ocean State, New Jersey, authorizing the release of the performance and the maintenance bonds for the 2012 Community Development Block Grant Project, which are the Williams Avenue and Vaughn Avenue Side Street Project. Can I have a motion? Move it. Second. Mr. Curtolo? Yes. Mr. Kennis? Yes. Mr. Dykoff? Yes. Mr. Giuliano? Yes. Mayor Quinn? Yes. Item <coughs> number eight, resolution 2015-83, authorizing release of a maintenance bond for the road opening permit number 4278. Resolution of the Township of Lacey County of Ocean State, New Jersey, authorizing release of a maintenance bond posted by Crown Group Limited Liability Corporation, AJA Excavating Corporation, for road opening permit number 4278, 4278, which is the extension of Center Street. Can I have a motion? Move it. Second. Mr. Kennis? Yes. Mr. Dykoff? Yes. Mr. Curtolo? Yes. Mr. Giuliano? Yes. Mayor Quinn? Yes. Item number nine, resolution 2015-84, authorizing release of a maintenance bond for the 2010 Lake Bonnegue Drive North and alternate number two project. Resolution of Township Lacey County of Ocean State of New Jersey, authorizing release of a site improvement maintenance guarantee posted by C.J. Hess Incorporated for the 2010 Lake Barnica Drive North Road Improvement Project and the 2010 Lake Barnica Drive North alternate number two to that project. This has been reviewed by the Township Engineer. All items have withheld the maintenance period and is recommending being released. Can I have a motion? Move it. Second. Mr. Kennis? Yes. Mr. Curatolo? Yes. Mr. Dykoff? Yes. Mr. Giuliano? Yes. Mayor Quinn? Yes. Item number 10, Resolution 2015-85, authorizing the placement of a lien on Block 1635, Lot 11, for property maintenance issues. Resolution of Township Lacey County of Ocean State, New Jersey, accepting the certification of the Township Attorney concerning legal fees incurred to attain a court order for the removal of vehicles, debris, and cleaning up of the property located at 711 Lake Barnica Drive North and authorizing the placement of a lien against said property for said costs. This um, matter had to be taken to court in order to settle <coughs> the um, dispute to get the property cleaned up. The matter, the posting of the lien is in the amount of $8,092.98. Can I have a motion? Move it. 
Yes. Mr. Giuliano? Yes. Mayor Quinn? Yes. Item number 11, Resolution 2015-86, authorizing the release of deposit monies. Resolution of Township Lacey County Voters in State of New Jersey, authorizing release of deposit monies held for the use of municipal facilities. Can I have a motion? Move it. Second. Second. Mr. Kennis? Yes. Mr. Giuliano? Yes. Mr. Dykoff? Yes. Mr. Curatola? Yes. Mayor Quinn? Yes. Item number 12, Resolution 2015-87, Authorizing the payment of township bills. Resolution of Township Lacey County Votion State of New Jersey authorizing the payment of township bills in the amount of four million five hundred and eighty six thousand six hundred seven dollars and fifteen cents. Can I have a motion? Move it. Second. Mr. Curatolo? Yes. Mr. Kenneth? Yes. Mr. Dyko? Yes. Mr. Giuliano? Yes. Mayor Quinn. Yes. I number thirteen. Motion to approve township meeting minutes of February eleventh, twenty fifteen. Move it. Second. All in favor? Aye. Item number 14, motion to approve caucus meeting minutes of February 11, 2015. Move it. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Item number 15, motion to approve raffle license applications for the uh, Rotary Club of Forkwood River. Move it. Second. All in favor? Aye. Add-ons? None. No add-ons. Comments from the committee? Mr. Curtell? Yes, we have a couple brief comments tonight. And, uh, congratulations, actually. Um, Congratulations to uh, our Municipal Alliance for Red Night. Uh, they, they got a great crowd over there at the high school the last time we all met as a committee. Uh, you know, a few of us went out there, I think uh, Committee Mayor Giuliano, uh, mm -hmm. myself, uh, went out to the high school and, and uh, showed support for our high school and our students and our parents. Um, I was at a meeting just last night till about 8 o'clock at the our County Health Department. Our um, Municipal Alliance here continues uh, to get accolades and, um, and we're always asked about how we get so much uh, participation from the parents in, in the community, the students, the teachers, um, and of course law enforcement. Our chief, uh, Dave Peprota, had spoken uh, at Red Night on uh, the dangers of internet. Um, and people, you know, people uh, had their mouths closed and their ears open. Uh, it was it was a great night. Uh, I appreciated everyone's efforts, uh, and uh, I also wanted to talk about the uh, the relay for uh, for life. I was at a, a meeting about probably about a week ago, uh, and this is a, a joint program we have with uh, Berkeley Township. Anyone that's been touched by cancer, I mean, I'm in public health, so it's something near and dear to me. Uh, I'm sure everybody in this room has known somebody with cancer or maybe a survivor or has lost somebody. Um, the American Cancer Society is one of many organizations, and when they talk about uh, who raises the money, I mean, we raise the money. Uh, it's done dollar by dollar uh, at relays and expositions like this. Um, so I would ask you if you had any questions, it would be uh, Tara Novak, 732-292-4262. Uh, it'll take place uh, May 30th and into overnight into May 31st, Sunday. Veterans Park in, in Bayville, uh, for, for sure, for certain, um, a well-placed cause, uh, a worthwhile cause. And in closing, I just want to offer a heartfelt thanks to uh, our high school, our superintendent, uh, our principal, Mr. Hanshu, um, Tom Faulkner, uh, Margaret Rand, uh, and the students. They came out to uh, an event. Uh, their county health department held at the uh, Ocean County Mall called 3D, Drinking, Drugging, and Driving, which uh, traditionally kicks off prom season. And we just don't want to see any more cars become twisted metal coffins. Uh, we don't want to see our kids die. Uh, and prom season is always a time where it would seem that uh, we look on the cover of the Asbury Park Press and then there's the twisted bicycle, the dead pedestrian, <coughs> something that can be prevented. Uh, I want to thank... Uh, Obviously, our prosecutor's office, everybody from the high school that was there. Um, we did have a lot of participation from Lacey High School, a great write-up in the media uh, and on te television as well. I'm very grateful for uh, those relationships over there at the high school uh, and our students. So that's all, Mayor. Thank you very much. Thank you, Peter. Okay. Well, I just want to touch on a few things Pete said about uh, the Red Night Out. Was, I thought it was very well attended. Um, I think that people, as I was sitting in the audience there when I was listening, I heard a lot of people talking. I think it was very, um, very informative. Um, the Municipal Alliance, the task force, Chief Paparata, I think they did an excellent job on it. And the issues were very important. Anybody that came walked out of there talking. 
So it was good for the, the parents to come there and see what goes on um, in the schools and, and everything else in the, in the town. Um, we also, the Municipal Alliance, we had our meeting the other night. It was the first one I was able to attend because I'm the liaison to it. Um, we, we talked, discussed a lot of things, and we had a good speaker there too, Allison Lemke. She came to speak uh, because of her uh, affiliation with the different, what she does in her job. So she came there and we were very informative on a lot of things that she did. Um, the Relay for Life, uh, we attended that, the uh, pre-meeting, and it was great. Uh, Carmen Amato was there, Mayor Amato, and uh, we look forward to working with Berkeley Township on that one. I think it's going to be very well attended. Um, tomorrow is the Senior Luncheon. Uh, I always look forward to uh, going to the Senior Luncheon so I could see my favorite mother-in-law there so we can sit there and have uh, lunch together. We usually, we don't have time to do that. But. Tomorrow's uh, that's Chinese all really New Year, had. so you're going to have Chinese food tomorrow. Is it Chinese food? Chinese that's food be good. tomorrow. Yeah, Chinese um, New Year. Mayor, that's all I have. Uh, Thank you so much. Yes. Yes. Uh, a couple weeks ago, the mayor and I and some and other township officials had a chance to sit down with Maxim Power Corporation. They're a, uh, a publicly traded energy provider that uh, provides energy globally. Um, right, they uh, are looking to expand the natural gas plant that they currently own at the power plant. Uh, for those that don't know, the power plant is actually, there's three owners in the power plant. There's the X line that owns the nuclear station. Uh, Maxim Power Corporation owns the natural gas station. Uh, they're their own entity. They operate independently from the plant, provide power to the grid. And there's also the, tr the, the grid itself, which is owned by JCPNL. So they were looking to uh, uh, expand the plant that they currently have, but their ultimate goal would be to uh, build a, a completely new plant to offset the, the uh, when the Oyster Creek does eventually close, they would be looking to replace what's currently there. So it's a very positive development for the town, and uh, we will do everything we can to help facilitate them. Thank you. Thanks. Um, to segue on to what uh, Mr. Kenneth said, at our next meeting, representatives of Exelon will be coming here to give us an update, and they, they do this periodically about what's going on with the power plant. Uh, subsequently, Mayor Quinn and I have a meeting set up with representatives on March 18th where we'll be trying to discuss, you know, the present, the future, something we used to do quite often and we kind of got away from. So um, I asked my other committee members, if you have some questions you'd like us to uh, ask the uh, representatives of the power plant, please uh, let us know before that March 18th meeting. Uh, the only other thing is I want to thank the owners of Caffrey's once again. Um, our businesses in town are true partners, and they care about the town, and we couldn't do what we do without them. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. Um, you know, just piggybacking on what the guy said with, with regards to the power plant, you know, it, it, not a lot gets out of the media on a regular basis, but the, there is a lot going on behind the scenes. Um, certainly the, the outfit that Steve talked about, the uh, Maxim Power, um, they, they actually flew in from uh, Canada the morning of the meeting. so. We've got a lot of movement. We've got a lot of very interested parties now finally coming on board uh, as we start creeping closer and closer to the 2019 closing date at the power plant. Uh, so it's a good it's a good sign for the town. It's good for the committee because we've been working on this for a number of years. Um, we, we certainly, if 19 comes and the plant shuts down, it's not going to go away. Uh, we're just not going to see the bottom fall out. There's still going to be revenue down there. There's going to be uh, a facility down there that might not be producing power, but still has a, a very you know, vital amount of uh, resources available to the township of Lacey. So we're going to you know, work with them. And like Mark said, you know, we, we're continuing our relationship with Exelon because uh, you know, even, though, even though they're not producing power, they're going to be there for many, many years to come. Uh, we have spent fuel storage down there that we certainly feel has a value to it, which we're fighting right now to establish a value and, and try and get some additional revenue based on that. So. Yeah, it is something that you know we're working very steadily on, and uh, uh, the whole committee has really taken a role in it this this uh, time. So we're, we're doing very well with it. But I just want the public to know that it is moving forward. Um, with regards to Red Knight, I wasn't available to go over there after the meeting, uh, but I know the guys went over and they said it was a great thing. Uh, I certainly want to thank um, Heather Scanlon from our Municipal Alliance because Heather kind of puts that thing together for us each year. She does an outstanding job with, with that program as well as everything else that she does for the Alliance. Uh, and she certainly, uh, she works hand in hand with the police chief, the schools, and uh, it was a real successful night, you know, because of the continued support from each, each of these groups, you know, to each other. So it was, was very good for the community. Uh, and I think Nikki said, you know, people walking out were certainly talking. Uh, if a night like that has an impact on, on saving one teenager's life, then it's certainly well, well worth all the time that was put into it. So. Uh, it was a great, great night, and you guys, thank you for going over there that night. 
Um, Peter touched on the Relay for Life. Um, that's, that's coming up and it's gonna come up quickly. Um, the one thing I just want people to be aware of is that they're trying to increase the number of teams that they can get to participate this year as much as possible. Uh, last year when I, I went to the Relay, we had a lot of uh, participation from our schools, the students, the teachers, uh, which is great, but they're trying to branch out beyond that now and get more and more participation, whether it be from the uh, business community, uh, different you know, uh, groups in town, they're looking for as much as they can. Uh, and it is something that certainly affects each and every one of us at some point in our lives when it comes to um, you know, either yourself or family members. Um, I want to extend a special thanks to the, um, the Lacey Moose Lodge. Last, um, last Wednesday night, I, I had a kind of a unique experience. They um, had called me and asked me if I would judge a uh, American Idol contest, um, which I know nothing about music. I'm really not the person to do it, but it was something that um, they had asked me to do. And, and the guys that run the organization over there, uh, you know, Bobby Brown and uh, Joe Pandolf, they, they do a tremendous job for this town. Uh, so I was, I was happy to go over. I was, you know, it was probably the coldest night of the week going out, but uh, it, it, I gotta tell you, it was a great time. <coughs> I, I never realized that the Moose Lodges throughout the entire country do this on an annual basis. Um, they go over there and they, they take in, um, each of the Moose Lodges has a contest that you choose the winner from your own Moose Lodge who goes on to compete at the county level. Uh, and if, the, if they win the county level, they go to the state level out in Mount Laurel and ultimately make it down to Nashville, Tennessee uh, and compete on the um, uh, you know, nationwide uh, level itself and uh, hopefully you know, get the, the win and come back with bragging rights. But uh, you know, the guys did a great job. Uh, the, the talent was great. I mean, I was very surprised. Um, they had some karaoke thrown in there as well as the, um, the contestants themselves. But it was, it was really something I enjoyed. I really had a good time. So I, I want to thank the Moose Lodge uh, for their hospitality. I want to thank them for what they do. Um, we're, we're constantly going over there for different things where, where they're donating, whether it be checks to our emergency services, uh, to our food bank. They, they do so much and they just fly under the radar and don't get the credit that they truly deserve. So I, I want to thank each of the guys for that. Um, and, you know, uh, Gavin, you're in the audience. If you want to, you know, give the guys a call. I mean, it would be really something to put a spotlight on and give yes, them some certainly. great, you know, great feeling. Email right over and yeah. I would have called you that night and told you I was going, but I was afraid they'd ask me to sing and the story wouldn't work out well. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it was nice. And my only last comment um, I want to make is I, I, I want to thank Casey Parker and the guys in Public Works. We've had probably mm -hmm. the worst February that we've seen mm -hmm. in many, many years um, when it comes to snow and ice. And, and you know, some, not everybody's been 100% happy, but the, believe me, the guys have done an outstanding job getting out there and, and trying to uh, you know, get the roadways open, get the roadways safe as quickly as possible. And uh, hopefully they're coming to the end of it. Next week we're going to start seeing some warmer weather come through. So. But the, uh, the the crew really did a great job. So thanks to them. Public comment. Anyone, Mr. Moss. Just your uh, name, Judge. Bill Moss, just came drive for in River Beach. I I'd like to bring up a few items. <coughs> I brought, uh, first off, uh, I want to remind all of you gentlemen sitting up here in our council that the Municipal Alliance luncheon is tomorrow at 11 o'clock, and uh, I'm sure they would <coughs> like to. See have you all show up there. Of course, some of you already do, but uh, you'll need 50 to 75 or 100 of your senior citizens and they all vote. So keep that in mind. And it's a friendly, friendly atmosphere when you come there. Uh, next thing I have a question for is, uh, I was here last Monday or Tuesday for a budget workshop meeting that was supposed to be held. They were canceled, and if you, you were sat in the meeting uh, on February 11th, and we announced that they were canceled, and we announced the date of March 5th, so you must not have heard us announce that. No, I just got it off the bulletin board. Yeah, that was, a, and I forgot to take the notice off the bulletin board that we had decided, because I had three or four dates listed in there. The next we announced the next it on February 11th that we were canceling them, but you must have missed that in the announcement. Yeah, well, I was here. But I'm yeah, I know you were here. That's why I was surprised when you came in. Phil, I apologize. That was the actually. The question is the one for next Thursday. Is it 530? Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, another thing I'd like to bring up is uh, a couple of meetings ago I came here and Mr. Dykoff mentioned about getting some of the local press to, to uh, tell, see what's going on in the township. Since then, I know that as a fact, that the Lacey Reporter has been out to the Elks Lodge and did interviews at the Elks Lodge. The Municipal Alliance luncheon, they were there, did a nice interview, all the pictures and everything on the township. They went to the Old Guard 
They came to the old guard and did a nice write up on the old guard, put it in the Lacey. Next Monday, they'll be at the American Legion doing a write up on the American Legion. And I'd like to, I know this is, this will go on to the news, but at least the people a week or two weeks down the line will be able to hear about it and be able to see some of the things that's going on. Uh, next thing I want to bring up is the budget, no, not the budget, the, uh, the township bills, like I always do. Our township bills were four million five hundred eighty-six thousand six hundred seven dollars and fifteen cents. Out of that money, one million one hundred thirty-six thousand six hundred fifty-one dollars and fifteen cents is what it took us to run this township. That's total in this township. That means three million four hundred forty-four thousand. Three million four hundred forty-nine thousand nine hundred fifty-six dollars went to our school system, which, if people are watching this in a week from now, check the bond rating in our school system as of tomorrow, and you might be surprised. Uh, that's that's all I have. For you. Thank, Thank you, Jim. Excuse me, Miss Regina DeSantis, Sunset Drive, Sunrise Beach. Um, Mr. Morse already kind of answered one of my questions. Now, is this the final budget meeting next Thursday at 5.30? The first one. I wish it could be final. It's oh, only the okay. first. If we can get it one and done, I'd be happy. All right. So what are the other dates? Do you have no, we, don't have, we haven't set any other dates because I've had some conflicting schedules with my governing body here. So right. we're trying to figure okay. that out. All right. Now, is the township operating on a calendar year budget? Yes. You do. So it's obviously not done yet. So... You're operating on a temporary, temporary budget, right budget right which now. is a, a, okay. yes, 25. Uh, it's a, it's a quarter of that's what you do in January, a quarter right. of the right. last year's budget. Do you have any idea when the municipal tax rate will be ready? Yeah, really, at this point, no. We we really couldn't tell you that. Um, Mark and and uh, the finance officer have been working diligently. We don't even have our budget documents in our hands yet. Okay. Uh, we're expecting to get that stuff after the weekend, so. Okay. But we might have more information next next week when we get together. You know, All right. I haven't had a chance to talk to the tax assessor, but I understand the appeal deadline this year is May first. Because of the um, fact that we went through the reval, you get it's an additional extended. month that goes yeah, to so May first. That's 1st. what yeah. I thought because a yeah. lot of people have been saying, "Are you sure it's not April first? And I said, "I'm yeah, no, it's, sure it's, it's May first. Yeah. Okay, the appeal deadline is May first, folks. Please, you know, call me. <laughs> you heard it here first. Um, that's it. We're really curious when that municipal tax rate will be ready. And any more budget meetings, I'll try to get to that one next Thursday. Okay. okay. Thank you. Tony? Just your name and address. Tony Mandrew, Doug Altra. Uh, just a quick thing before I get on where I came from. Is, is anybody considering, I know you're thinking about putting that traffic light there, and I do go through that thing 20 times a day. It's, is any, does anybody figure out what's going to happen when the rear or right away if that goes in? What it's going to be like when you put another light there? Yeah, we, we will take that into consideration as we're doing the study because all those maps are available to the engineer. It's, it's going to be very close proximity. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be ridiculous. Yeah, the, the you, can't, you can't fix stupid with a light. Just so you yeah. know, the light's not going to fix that. I mean, you can do a, a simple fix if you remove those white lines back. Because the problem you have is that somebody's trying to make a left turn, and the person on the right can't get out. On the, on the left, I should say, it fills up, and you can't see. Can't it. see anything. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's no consideration at all. But yeah. Welcome. Uh, reason I'm here tonight. A um, couple of questions I want to ask you. This one we're on the same page, and then I'll tell you my story. Uh, does anybody on the committee oversee the tax department? Uh, Finance. I, I would oversee town hall. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you guys, does the committee have a say on who they took for the assessment? Who we hired for the assessment? <laughs> we voted on that as a committee, yeah. yeah. Okay, and what was the cost of that? 360, 360 I think, yeah. 360,000? 360, yeah. Um, is Mark a salary employee or? Yeah, Mark's a, a, uh, a, he's our tax assessor, no, full time tax assessor, and he's a salary employee, yes. Salary employee. So we hire him, we keep him as a salary employee. So. He does a job till it's done. Correct. Correct. Yes. Okay. Let me bring you to my story. I know you heard it, but I'm you and I have talked facts. before. Yeah. Um, my house was the new assessment <coughs> was an increase of eighty-one thousand five hundred. A couple of builders on the 
panel. I have no clue what I did to the house. I haven't done anything since last year. But they increased my tax 81.5. Now the best part about it is they decreased my land by 10 grand, increased my house by 91.5. Now here's my thing: the assessment, the, the uh, assessment company never. I can guarantee you, prove it to you, they never came to my house. They probably used Google Map. They never came to my house. Uh, when I got the assessment, I went to do the appeal there, and they, the exact words, that they would discuss your approval, your appraisal with you and review. No such thing happened. There was a person there who took information and passed you along, which was totally ridiculous. They didn't have a copy machine there. I had to go home and get the make the copies in the back. We were all they the could have used town. the copy machine that was inside the office. But couldn't they, use it. They, I was told they couldn't use it. Never Believe me, I, I drove home and came back again. Uh, at that meeting, he tells me that my house was uh, assessed at 350, uh, and that somebody walked inside my house. Uh, I want to prove that wrong, too. No one ever walked inside my house. I can prove that. Uh, so we're paying for a company, 300 something thousand, that I can prove to you never went on my property, never went inside my house, and they lied about both of those. I called Mark up about the 350 and uh, told him that I had a judgment of 325. His exact words, let me quote him to you. This is the guy we pay a salary to, and I've been paid salary all my life. Uh, you get the exact words. He says he didn't get around to it, changing my assessment. Now, according to your tax assessor who's responsible for part of it is the set the assessment value of property in accordance with the basis of real property value recognized by the state law or as interpreted by the courts. And I'm pretty sure that what I have is a court judgment. So he didn't get around to it. Now, my question, if He's paid by salary, and he didn't get around to it. Do we do anything about that? If, if he didn't get his pay, and he called payroll, and they said, well, we didn't get around to it, you think he'd be a little ticked? If I didn't get around to paying my taxes, is there a penalty to me? Sure. Okay. So there's a, there's a thing for you. Mark's not doing a job. All right? That was his answer to me. It goes on. So I give them all the information about the 325. I give them all the uh, appraisals that I had and show them how I won the case. They send me a letter. This is to notify you that the uh, appraisal company and the tax assessor have completed a review of your appraisal of your property. Okay, let me call Mark back again because I know he's a busy man. I call him back, ask him a simple question. Did you review my appraisal? And he wouldn't answer. I said, Mark, just a simple question. Did you approve my appraisal? Puts me on speakerphone. To me, that seems like somebody that's a little insecure. Puts me on speakerphone. So I said, again, again, again. He finally says to me, let me quote that to you, that uh, I want to make sure I don't want to put words in the guy's mouth. He didn't have time to review all 13,000, blah, 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 blah but he did sign off on it. So, here's my question for you. If we're paying Mark, we're paying the appraisal company, I've proved that Mark didn't do his job, I can prove that the appraisal company never came to my house. Now I said to Mark, I said, <coughs> they never came to my house. Mark says to me, well they bought your house. What? He said, yeah, they bought your house. And I went and got the appraisal from the town, and it says information by owner. Now, you guys are going to pay them already? Did you pay them $360,000? We paid them, yeah. Oh, good, good job. Because here's what happens. If you dial that telephone number that they gave you for information, it's disconnected. You can't talk to them. So here's the roundabout thing. I have an appraisal of 325. I have the, I went through the hoops and loops and bring all the variables and everything, the power holes to you. And Mark didn't do his job. You have, you, what you're talking about 325 is the 
judgment issued by the court on your tax. Not an appraisal, a judgment. Yeah. There's a judgment. Okay, judgment. Okay. Right. You, you said a judgment before, and you said appraisal now, so I just no, want to clarify that. He okay. didn't do his job to put in a 325. Didn't have. Didn't get around to it. So if you would, not week, next week, maybe not pay him, and have him call me and tell him we need to get around to it. Uh, the other thing is, I hear uh, they tell me that he doesn't live in town. Mm -hmm. I have a four bedroom that he already signed off on that I can sell. We don't have to argue the price. You signed off on it. Be more than happy to give it to for the three, four hundred and something thousand eight hundred worth. So that's how we stand. So now I got to go through the appeal process here, which here's what amazes me, and it's the same that's been in my life all all the time. We never have time to do it right, but we always have time to do it over. How much is this going to cost the township, my dollars, to fight me? Because they're going to have a lawyer sitting there and Mark sitting at the table fighting me for what he didn't do in the first place. Is that fair to me, the township? Answer, guys, what, what would it take to put 91,500 addition onto my house? Yeah, Tony, I, you and I talked at the library, we, you know, when you came yes, in to see did. me, and, and yeah, I know you're, you're very frustrated, and like I told you that night, we, we have limited ability when it comes to that particular department head, because that department head, although the municipality pays him a salary, falls on the state statute because you know those are the guidelines that he he works under uh, and the reason being because you, you certainly wouldn't want guideline, he didn't do. Yeah, yeah but you wouldn't want governing mm -hmm. body members go downstairs and say well this guy's my friend changes assessment so you. the guidelines are very specific um, when you and I had spoke it was already unfortunately past that deadline where you could go in although it sounds like you went in anyway but it yeah. wasn't before that deadline when you talked to Mark yeah you yeah, know I, I understand talked to Mark, he refused first of all he didn't change my, my judgment which is against the law yeah yeah it's a court judgment and I can prove that to you yeah. I can prove that no one ever came to my property. Prove right. it with no problem. I can prove that no one ever came in my house. I'm there. I'm the, own, uh, I'm yeah. the owner. I'm, I'm not. Now, the town says that, signs off that. Mark signed off on this. Mm -hmm. Never looked at it. Now, there's no check and balance system that we don't check 10% of the assessments that come through. Like I said to you before, Dak, we're, in the, we're not in the Stone Age. We're not yeah. with blocks. In right, place. but but checks and balances, Tony, comes at the county level, not at our level. We we can't go in there and, and you know what happens say, when you call the county. I can tell you who I talked to. Yeah, talk to Mark. Mark's not capable of doing the job. You you I talk to Mark at the county. No, no I talked to the county. The I, I talked to, talk to you. Uh, hold on a second. I tell you, I talked to at the county. Oh, they told you to call back and talk to your assessor. Talk to Mark. I talked to him twice. The guy is is incapable of answering. I don't need to hear that he can't get around to it, and I don't need to hear that he had 13,000 look over. I, if I ever gave that to my boss, you know where I'd be? Unemployed. Unemployed. And that's where he should be. Well, I'll tell you straight out. I'm assuming that the mayor had, had um, explained to you that the governing body would not be able to remove him for his functions as that, tax assessor. Can so. you just like forget to pay him in one week? <laughs> there, uh, there's there's huge that, you know? repercussions why to the township if they did that. Why do I have to go through the appeal process again, which I won, go through that again, you have to pay Mark and a lawyer to sit next to him, which is a joke. I, I told you that story, but I wish I had that on video too. And I have to go there and you're going to use your own my own money to fight me. Again, yeah. is that totally ridiculous? What? Come on, how, how? What kind of improvement would they, would the assessor that came to my house, which never came to my house, would show ninety-one thousand five hundred? Tell me, my yeah. land's worth ten thousand less, but sure. my house is worth ninety-one thousand more. Yeah, Tell I mean, me, it, that, it's substantial. No doubt. What, yeah. what, what would I have to do to put ninety-one five on my house? You'd be doing a major addition Absolutely. to the home. Yeah, no doubt about it. Right. But, I, but we you don't. Have, you have Mark, who, when I called him, at least say, hey, you know what, Mr. Manager, let me let me come out and look. Let me let me do something. No, I got to hear his headaches. Of, I got thirteen thousand, and, and, and I can't. Do it. Who cares, Mark? I'm not thirteen thousand. I'm one. And I wish everybody who's listening would line up at my door. I live on Dugout Drive. I'll help you file the appeal because I like to see Mark sit there all day. Mr. Manager, can I ask you one question? Had you previously appealed your taxes? <coughs> and how much how much did they lower it from the assessment? Twenty five thousand. Okay. Three fifty to twenty here. Okay, so no, 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 I, I don't need to see. I'm just questioning you. I, that, that's the only question I had. So you went from three fifty to three twenty five, and then when the the appraiser came out, they raised it. And, okay, that's all I wanted. He to know. never put the three twenty five in. So I, I, I pay taxes on three fifty. That's number one. Mm -hmm. 
Number two, when I called him on it, he says he didn't have time to get around to it. Mm -hmm. I, that's why I asked you if you made him salary. I was paying a salary for a reason, because I stayed at my job no matter what it took. Weekends, Saturdays, when, when the store burned down, we had a fire, I had to work overnight. We did what we had to do. This guy doesn't want to do what he has to do. And I don't need, as a, as a resident, to hear that he had 13,000. Who cares? I could care less. And like I said to Gary before, in this time and age, there has to be some kind of check system that when the assessment comes in and it's more than 20%, it should kick out of a computer, redline it, flag it, and March and say, hey, wait a minute, this doesn't look right. We have to look at this house. No, he signed off on it. That's all his answer was. So the letter that I received, first of all, the court thing, the judgment I won, did not happen. The letter I received telling me that Mark reviewed it is a lie. The assessment that says that they walked through my house by owner is a lie. The assessment that says that they came to my house is a lie. And we paid this company. Now, March, the reason was because they did mom, they did uh, mom and county. They must be good. Oh yeah, that's right. I, I didn't think it, I didn't think of that one more. Yeah, we you know we like I said we have very little ability. I I recognize what you're saying. I don't disagree with what you're saying. What's his contract? It, well, it's a, it's a full year appointment. Wow. If you have Who appointed It's by statute. It, if we don't have a. Yeah, it's all state it. guidelines that we fall under. It's four years appointment, and after the first four years, you actually are tenured into the position wow. if you're reappointed. So that's there's a Here's lot of a variables guy, you have to look I at. I want to tell you the truth. Here's a guy who people are sitting at that table who were probably first times doing the appeals, and he was sitting there laughing and joking when he, these people were trying to be serious about what they were trying to do. These people don't do it for a living. He yeah. does it for a living. I'd like for him to step into my, what I do, and, and I can make a fool out of him. Yeah. You know, he tried to put what, me down, trying to tell me and what was going on, but I have a, he's not that smart. You, you do, like I, you and I had talked, you do have the ability to file the appeal and come in and sit down with him and hopefully get it resolved on a one-on-one -on -one basis. It, 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 that's a waste of time. Like I, I would still take that, that here chart. Here it is though. now. He didn't have time to do it, but he has time to redo it. Yeah. Why? Why is that possible? Yeah, but Tony, you, you, you know the market. Advice? You're a realtor. You know the market. I mean, if you have the, the justification and you sit one-on-one -on -one with them, maybe I you can rectify them. I called them personally when the 350 was in it. Right. I called them when I, I that was when I already had the four. The, <laughs> the higher one. Yeah, yeah. You showed Come me. On. And Mark doesn't want to do anything. He just wants to sit there. Who has control of that guy? State. State. State so I have to file with the state, file a lawsuit, I guess, right? Yeah. I don't know what you can tell The state statute is what guy, is the guy that we live under with the assessor. Amazing. And you guys okay with that, right? You're okay with... We have no choice. They, they have no choice. Yeah, Every municipality is the same. It's either but, the but county saying, board or okay the with director. The, you're okay with the company not doing their job? You okay with the assessment? No, not at all. No, we're not. If, if well, there's a, who a flaw, that, Gary? you can't fault them. There's no number. No, I reckon that we're not okay with that, but we don't have the ability to change it other than to reach out to the county and let the county know. Or well, can somebody reach out to the county and tell them? I'll give them more yeah. information. Well, it's, not gonna, it's still not going to change it, but it's going to take and put a spotlight well, on that company. But, but what's going to happen there? If nobody complains, you know what? Next time we do assessment, those guys are no great. They just steal your county. Yeah. That's how we recommend it. There's no doubt. If, it's if totally you, ridiculous. Yeah. I'll prove to you that he's never on my property. 100% proof to yeah. you. I'll believe prove it. to you he's never been in my house. And if yeah. he was, I'd like to know where he saw 91500 My land went down ten grand. thank God. Yeah. I probably crow, 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 uh, crow, uh, crow. <laughs> sidewalk. But the other thing, it's ridiculous, 91.5. Yeah. So I, I have to waste my time, go for an appeal, and have him pay my taxpayer dollars to fight me. I wish I had a different answer to tell him. I believe you guys should address the, the uh, assessment. I'd be more than happy to have him go to my house. Uh, we, we can't dictate to him that he has you, to go you out. Signed off on it. You signed off on $360,000. We, we signed off on a company that was uh, qualified and recommended to do the job. There's going to be flaws. But I'm telling you, they're not qualified to recommend it. Yeah. I'm not the only one. Gary, Gary, you know the old routine. Tony, For I, everyone that, wrote, that complains, I've gotten there's calls. 10 out there that don't. Yeah, there's no doubt I've gotten calls from people, yeah, and I've tried to sit call. down with I them. I hope they call now. I hope yeah. they, they, a month I got tried, come to my house. Yeah. I'll show you how to fill it out. Then Mark can sit there, and he can joke and everything. And we can keep playing games like this. Yeah. Totally ridiculous. Yeah. Hey, you guys put up with it. 
You, you have to pay taxpayer money. You're talking about a few dollars in the budget. You just gave away 360000 And now how much money? How much does it cost for an appeal? Oh, every appeal, yeah. yeah how much does it cost? How much does it cost for the lawyer and the lawyer? Probably $1,000 to $1,500 per appeal. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's totally ridiculous. But he doesn't have time to look at all. So I got to go spend 25 bucks. The only time is... Make the effort to sit down one-on-one -on -one with them now. I try. Don't just go to, you know, jump to the second stage. I, I try. I, I call them. Yeah. You so once you file well, the appeal... You have to file oh, the appeal. There's nothing yeah, we first. can do at this point now. Once no. you, if I file the appeal, I'm going through it. Because yeah. I want the court or whatever's in there. I want them, I'm going to show them the proof. And maybe they can do something there. Yeah. Because he doesn't deserve to sit there. I didn't get around to him. And I really wish you would guys hold this chat. And then have him call me and pick it up in my house. <laughs> Thanks, Tony. Anyone else? Can I have a motion to close the floor, please? Move it. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Motion to adjourn? Move it. Second. All in favor? Aye. All right. Thanks, folks.